A stroke is a brain attack that occurs when the blood flow to your brain is cut off. Once this happens, the brain cells don't get enough oxygen and start to die. When your brain suffers from a stroke, the abilities that are controlled by the brain, such as muscle control and memory, do not work. Everyone has different reactions to a stroke. How they are affected depends on how much of the brain is damaged. There are a few different things that can be done to prevent a stroke. For example, maintaining a healthy blood pressure of around 120 over 80, which can be done by regular exercise and the loss of excess weight. Drinking alcohol in moderation can also help. Studies show that if you have about one drink per day, your risk may be lower, says Dr. Rost. Once you start drinking more than two drinks per day, your risk goes up very sharply. Reach for a five ounce glass of red wine, as it contains resveratrol, which is thought to protect the heart and brain. Another way is to treat atrial fibrillation if you have it. Atrial fibrillation is a form of irregular heartbeat that causes clots to form in the heart. Those clots can then travel to the brain, causing a stroke. Also, treat diabetes if you have it. Many traits, conditions, and habits can raise your risk of having a stroke. The risk of having a stroke is doubled every 10 years after 55 years old. Even though strokes are common in older ages, children and infants can also suffer from strokes. You can also be at risk of having a stroke if someone in your family has had one during their lifetime. Sometimes you are born with, with genetics that make you more prone to having strokes. Race and ethnicity can also make a difference. Studies have shown that African Americans are at higher risk of death from a stroke. This is partly because they are at higher risk of blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity. Women suffer from strokes more than men do every year. Some factors may include pregnancy, eclampsia, gestational diabetes, and oral contraceptive use. And of course, people who suffered from a prior stroke and abused alcohol and drugs have increased risks. Some symptoms of a stroke are a sudden numbness or weakness in the face, arm, or leg, especially on one side of the body. Abrupt confusion, trouble speaking, or difficulty understanding speech. A sudden severe headache with an unknown cause. Sudden trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance, or lack of coordination, and having trouble seeing through one or both eyes. To find out if someone is having a stroke, use the letters in the word FAST, F for face. Ask the person to smile. Does one side of the face drop? A for arms. Ask the person to raise both arms. Does one arm drift downward? S for speech. Ask the person to repeat a simple sentence. Is the speech strange? S for time. If you see any of these signs, call 911 immediately. When someone is having a stroke, every minute counts. When you recognize the signs, immediately call 911. There are three different types of stroke that can occur. Number one is an ischemic stroke, which occurs when a clot or a mass blocks a blood vessel, cutting off blood flow to a part of the brain. Number two is a hemorrhagic stroke, which occurs when a weakened blood vessel ruptures, spilling blood into the brain. Number three is a TIA, which is often called a mini stroke or a warning stroke. The symptoms of this are the exact same as a ischemic stroke, but they are temporary. Stroke patients who receive TPA within 90 minutes of symptom onset are almost three times more likely to recover with little or no disability. What TPA is, is a drug to dissolve a clot. A stent retriever is a medical device used to pull it out. Strokes can also leave after effects. Many people experience muscle weakness or paralysis, which usually happens on one side of the body and can cause a lot of pain. Other effects include vision loss, as well as headaches, more side effects include tiredness or fatigue, problems swallowing, problems with memory and thinking, and changes to smell and taste. Along with physical effects can come mental effects, such as depression or anxiety, trouble controlling emotions, and becoming more irritable. But the good news about a lot of the effects of stroke is that they improve over time. 